Happy 4th of July and welcome to my review of the NECA figure for The Boys Homelander. So this figure uh, is about $30. I found it at Walmart today. Pretty fitting. Um, it comes with the following accessories. It comes with a spare set of hands. It comes with two separate heads. It comes with a laser blast that you can plug into his eye sockets and get some, some nice laser effects. It's very playing hell with the camera. It's got some red shading around his face to kind of be that, the light going, glowing, or giving off light from his eyes. Uh, they're very, very poseable. They, I have a couple of gripes, but uh, overall it's a really nice figure. Um, but I will be returning this one and I'll show you why in a minute. So you've got a nice, nice cloth cape. Really big, really nice. Drapes really nicely. Um, I love the way they did this up here. He's got the shoulder pads. Look at the face on this. That heads, The head sculpts on these are awesome. Uh, he comes packaged with open hands. You're, and you can swap these hands out. And we have, you can rotate it here kind of at this double elbow. Now, I don't like these double elbows. These double elbows look funky when you're trying to use them because it's just, it looks weird. You've got a nice joint here. Now, you'll start to see while I'm doing this, uh, um, some of why I'm going to return this. But uh, you've got a nice, weird, again, double knee with uh, there's plenty of ankle. It's really tight, but there's there's plenty of ankle articulation. He does have kind of a ball joint in here. Uh, and you can, you know, it kind of feels like it's uh, framed and then a softer plastic put over it because as you can kind of, you can push on some of these parts. Now, if you'll look right under his left uh peck there it's separated on mine and then you have kind of like glue seaming uh, glue seam right here that's coming apart and it's coming apart over here now normally i would honestly say if this was like a transformer or something else i would keep it and just be like oh, okay whatever uh this being a 30 dollar figure uh a 30 dollar neca figure i kind of expect more you know if this thing was like 20 bucks i probably wouldn't return it but being a $30 NECA figure, I'm returning this. Uh, hopefully I'll find another one. I know they're pretty scarce. Luckily, I did find a Starlight at the same time, but I have not taken her out of the box yet. Take a look at that belt buckle. And, like, the detail in the abs, the the texture of the costume, the, the sew line, like the seam that's around here, the detail in the collar... The boots. The hands. I mean, the, the detail on this is insane. And it looks awesome. It's just, um, I'm not paying $30 for a figure that's got damage out the box. And um, it's not held together right there, like in um, the packaging. It, it doesn't like, it's not like it has a strap that goes across and I did that. It just came out of the box that way. And I couldn't tell when I looked at it. Hands, just pop that off, pop that on like any NECA figure, see if we can get a pose out of this, I really want to pose it with these eyes, and hopefully I will find one of these that is not broken or not damaged at some point, just plug those into his eyes, kind of... Yep, I'm giving you sound effects tonight. That's right. So, overall, I really like the figure. It's just I'm not keeping it with damage. The damage is really bothering me, if you couldn't tell, because that's factory. That's assembly damage. You know, that's that's ridiculous. He's a really flat ass.
And for something about like where his belt meets this part down here feels like a really big diaper. Like to me, that just kind of looks like a big diaper, the way it's molded and like the lines that you get just because it's, you know, an action figure. Um, but it is rubbery because you can do straight up the splits and you can see where it, it flexes. You just hope it flexes back. Let's see. And then you have the, again, this weird, like, makes it almost like rounded double knee. Uh, So again, holding his own head. Thumbnail. Ah, probably not. So worth thirty dollars. I would say yes if you can get one that's not damaged. If so, really look in the packaging. Make sure that he doesn't have any visible issues with this kind of rubberized suit that he's wearing. Uh, if he's got any kind of damage to him, don't buy him for $30. He may be hard to find for anything else. He may not end up being something that goes on clearance. You know, it might, I may to return this and never see another one. Uh, that's just kind of how the way things are nowadays, but. Let me look at one of these head sculpts. This is the head that it comes with in the package. Come on, focus. I mean, look at that. Detail. I mean, the detail in the ear. Look at that. I can see in his ear canal. Unfortunate seam that you can see right here. But still, that's awesome. Can look at these. That red I was talking about. All right, so this is my review of the NECA Homelander figure, just in time for 4th of July. So don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, do all those other things. Um, over here should be a video uh, about the TFCon giveaway uh, and the new shirts. New shirts are in, uh, there should be a link below for the new shirts. Uh, Take a look at this video here to get the, uh, the the skinny on the giveaway. And good night. And happy 4th of July. Be safe out there.